Hi and welcome to this week's episode of the Amber Tree Wellness TV. How is it going? A few weeks ago I put out an episode of the Amber Tree Wellness TV on removing wheat from your diet and I have to tell you that that video received the most amount of feedback of anything that I've done so far. There are people who are saying that they'd found a massive difference when they removed wheat from their diet but there are a lot of people saying well if I take wheat out of my diet what am I going to eat because that is the basis of my diet or do I really need to remove everything from my diet all the wheat and I, so I thought I'd come back and revisit this um, subject again because it does always bring up so much it brings up so much emotion whenever I make this suggestion it's like what am I going to eat and that just shows us how much we're, we're actually consuming now we're talking about wheat, you know, and I explained in the last video that you know how wheat has been hybridized and it's really high in gluten, it's really high in gladians, and it's causing a really big issue with our health. The other part of where wheat is causing a problem is the foods it's added to. It's added to so many foods that you're not aware of. You know, you have wheat in chocolate, you have wheat in ice cream, you have wheat in tomato sauce. You know, all these foods that you wouldn't imagine have actually got wheat in them and that's why we're getting such an overdose because when we're eating all of these processed foods they all have wheat in them so many of our processed foods are full of wheat so I explained last time why you know but I'll briefly go over it again you know the gluten causes damage to our gut wall and when we've got a, a lot of gluten in our diet it actually starts a breakdown of the gut wall and we can find that a lot of symptoms occur not just bloating people get bloating some people get issues with their digestive system with constipation and diarrhea but it can affect your behavior in children it's a big it can be a big issue with behavior it can affect your sleep it can affect your weight it can affect all different parts of your life and it's not until you actually remove it from your diet completely that you actually notice the difference so what do we eat instead of wheat okay you're going rightio I'm going to do what you say but what am I going to eat you know I'm, I have bread I have pasta all these things well there are other grains out there you can actually consume other grains and when it comes to uh, breads there's grains like spelt spelt it, it's an ancient wheat but it doesn't it's not as high in gluten and it doesn't cause the same effect as what wheat does um, kamut or koroshan is another ancient grain uh, once again still has some gluten in it but doesn't cause as much of an issue when it comes to look and you can get gluten free breads out there which are made look I have to be honest and I'd say that most of those gluten free breads which are made out of rice flour or potato flour mm, taste a bit like cardboard so you know if you like them that's fine go ahead and have them um, when it comes to pasta, you can get corn pastas, you can get spelt pastas, you can get buckwheat pastas. Sobo noodles um, are made out of buckwheat. Now buckwheat is not a wheat, it's actually a seed. So there's lots of options. There's other different types of pasta. There's also a new pasta on the market at the moment which is made from a, a vegetable called konjac, which is a Chinese vegetable. Um, it's a big root vegetable and I think it's being sold under the name of slim pasta and trim pasta and you find it in the health food aisle in your supermarkets but it, it's just it, it looks like pasta I have to say it doesn't actually have that much of a taste so it doesn't taste bad doesn't taste good it's really high in fiber um, so it's actually really good for managing weight and that's, that's why they're selling it as this slim pasta so there are other things you can use you don't have to be using your wheats there's other grades you can have instead of wheat and then you could also look at what your alternatives are quinoa having some you know boiling up some quinoa rather than having some pasta on the side so have a, a quinoa salad rather than a, a pasta salad quinoa is once again not a grain it's a seed so it's high in protein full of nutrients there are options there's lots of other options so feel free to share this video with other people if you've got questions more about what type of foods you can and can't eat you know what how you can replace gluten in your diet let me know what where you're eating wheat and then I'll give you some feedback um, below on the blog and let and uh, or on the Facebook page and let you know you know what your alternatives are tell me what you're eating and I'll give you an alternative to it so but it's about just really being aware and be very aware of the other places where wheat is actually hidden in you know your cheap ice creams your cheap chocolates all of that start reading having a real look at you know, some of these labels 
uh, that actually do have wheat in them that you really wouldn't expect. So thanks for listening to me. As I said, feel free to share this, this video with other people and I'll be back next week with another episode of the Ambitree Wellness TV. Thank you very much.